Ayodhya is not only a place for ritual, but it is also a place where our ancestors learned many things about life and influence the way we are. Please find out in this video of how this religion make its way in Cambodian people life. For millennia, Buddhist pagoda have played a major role in the development of the country's society in nearly all sectors, from education, culture and social work to health and the economy. Many leaders of the country, with Prime Minister Hun Sen being no exception, spend some time in their youth as pagoda children. Children, often poor ones, who live in the pagoda and were educated by monks. Today, around 90% of Cambodian population is Buddhist and Buddhist pagoda play an important role in development of the country, societal structure and in the following. 1. In addition to being the location where religious celebration and practice are held, Buddhist pagoda are also viewed as time capsule where Cambodian identity and culture have been preserved. 2. Buddhist pagoda also function as the refuge for the underprivileged students and youth from the rural area who seek education or training in urban center but cannot afford housing. Furthermore, pagoda welcome orphan, vulnerable elderly people and poor youngster. 3. Pagoda in one way or another serve as a psychological and emotional support center zone in which racial discrimination in terms of skin color nationality or social class fade away. Offerings to the pagoda made by people are then used as resources to build roads, brick, schools, hospitals, water wells, water reservoirs and plantations which provide food as well as medicine. 4. Pagoda are depository for the country culture and knowledge accumulated over centuries serving as both museums and libraries where material have been kept without being influenced by politics. Throughout century, Pakoda would offer training in literature, mathematics and several areas of general knowledge which were essential for everyday life. Many famous authors and artists of past generation in Cambodia were first trained and mentors under the roof of Pakoda. 5. Pagoda are places that offer lessons and tips regarding psychicality, communication and emotion, teaching compassion and how to reduce negative intention such as greed. The teaching of the Buddha and Buddhist monk mainly focus on the social morality such as duty between parents and children, teachers and students, husbands and wife, employers and employees, leaders and their people, monk and elderly people. Even though pagoda play a positive role as described here, today pagoda should straighten and expand their capacity in order to help further build the nation. According to the Facebook page Rule of Dhamma, the late Cheng Pon have stated that pagoda should not just build stuff from rock and stone, which do not really serve any crucial need. They should turn around and build the stone people. The more stone people, who want to acquire knowledge, conscience, and real power as hard as stone, the better it becomes, he is quoted as saying. Pon, who served as Cambodian Minister of Fine Art and Culture and was an outstanding person in the field of education and the promotion of art and culture, recommended that every pagoda should have the following. A school of theory, Pali school, a school of experimental theory, Vispana school, and a library to sort documentation. Pakuda should offer, he said, course in linguistic, writing, and recitation of poetry and various style of music. With these programs, it could proudly be said that Pon and Pakuda are depository for culture. The bowl of rice is not given by a lazy person, he said, to monk before the start of meal. It is given by a person who is so active and motivated, which means that after having this meal, I, the monk, have to contribute back to those offered it to me. Pon create a center for culture and vipassana on the outskirts of Phnom Penh in early 1990. 
Buddhist pagoda are undeniably crucial in supporting in the part of nation economy as well as providing support to the society. If more and more pagoda make an effort to follow the guidelines suggested by Cheng Pon, Cambodian society will greatly benefit and view them with even more pride.